right, what is going on everybody? Matic222. I apologize for that quick adjustment because this packaging is huge. So today we are looking at the Batman the Animated Series from series from DC Collectibles. This is the deluxe clay face figure. This packaging is huge, so let me try to do this the best I can so you can see the Batman Animated Series title right there. Of course, there it is again on the top. On the side, we have that little silhouette, and this is figure number 30, Clayface, DC Collectibles. Pretty cool. Looking at the back, not a lot going on on the back. A lot of wasted space, but nonetheless, again, you get that you get that iconic Batman the Animated Series logo and some stuff right there. N absolutely nothing on the bottom. So, all right. Yeah, a lot of big... Oh, man, guys. Really big packaging, but a lot of wasted space. But nonetheless, who cares about the packaging? We are going to get this guy out of the package, take a closer look. I will catch you guys on the other side. All right, so now that we got Clayface out of the package, he uh, definitely give you guys a warning first. If, if Brown turns you off, Definitely don't pick this guy up because he's like 99% brown. I mean, it's Clayface, right? What do you expect? But, uh, I, I definitely, like, he's definitely in that, like, Bruce Tim style, you know? Like, you could definitely, uh, definitely get that vibe. So, taking a closer look, I like all the little ridges and all the little stuff they got going on in the hands and on the fingers just kind of adds to the overall character. You could see like even on the legs, all the little bumps and ridges and stuff like that. Very, very cool on the torso. Very nice. And then I think the shade of brown they picked is pretty spot on, I would say so from the show. I think it's pretty spot on. I think they did a good job. Face, pretty nice, man. He's got those nasty yellow teeth and of course, I mean, there's not much else there. He's just a clay guy. This, other than that, there's not a lot of sculpting or really anything like that going on. Definitely, uh, obviously, he, like, lacks in the paint apps department, but, I mean, that's that's kind of what you'd expect. Little tiny legs. Oh, sorry, guys. Give me a sec. Let me fix, let me readjust. There we go. Alright, so the little tiny legs are not too bad again. Like, this is not a, a uh, like, comic book version of Clayface. This, this is the animated series Clayface. So he has those little tiny Bruce Tim legs. For the most part, he can kind of, he can kind of stand, like, if you get it in the right, if you get it in the right spot. Give me a sec there, guys. I, ha I had him standing before. You saw it at the start of the video, right? You guys saw it. It's difficult. It's difficult. You have to... Nah, he's not, he's not going to do it now. Okay, one more try, and then I move on. There. So you can get him to stand pretty, pretty decent without the base, which is pretty cool, but... Uh, he might give you a little bit of a hard time. I don't know if I would want to leave him on my shelf like that. But nonetheless, pretty cool. So get, getting into his articulation, the head moves side to side. Of course, you're not going to get up and down. I don't know if you'd expect that, but no up and down. Ball peg for the shoulders. And they move. They don't really... Now, this might be mine. Mine is really, really stiff, so it might be that. But I can't get it to move out like even on this side it feels like it it wants to but when I try to pull it it, it seems like I'm uh, like forcing it and I'm really like I don't want to I'm really like I don't want to break this guy but uh nonetheless you can move it around and he has a upper arm swivel single jointed elbow and no wrist articulation for the torso he has a it's kind of like it like looks like a diaphragm joint 
you get, you get a pretty good range of motion, like up and down, but you get a waist twist too, and you get a you get a ab crunch. Like it's hard to see, but you can see kind of. It's hard to see, but like the ab crunch moves separately from the diaphragm, but pretty cool. And then for the legs, they move about this far forward, about that far back, and they do this weird kind of thing where they can move out, reminiscent of the DCUC gaping crotch pit. And his little clay face feet do rotate and they don't hinge. So not a, not a huge in the movement department, but again, like a figure this size, it's clay face, like how you can only expect them to be so dynamic, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't mind that too much. I'll let that go. Other accessories he comes with, I don't really need to talk about this, but he obviously comes with his collectible base, as do all the animated series figures. He comes with another screaming head. I really like this one. I think when I put him on my shelf, I think I'll probably get this head because you can see on the inside with the pink. It's a little more, a little more detailed. The teeth look a little scarier. A little more detailed. I, I really like that face. You come with this axe hand, and I think you could pretty much like stick either accessory on either arm, like I was able to do it, and it looked all right. I don't know if there's a specific way to do it, but I did it, and it looked okay. You get this little hook again, very nice, and you get a mace. I really like that. I really like the brown chain. Uh, very cool. This is probably my favorite accessories. So they really, I think you re they really went above and beyond with this guy. Really, really happy. You don't get a lot of accessories, but the ones you do get are really good. And again, uh, again, for for someone like Clayface, like I don't think you were gonna you're gonna get a lot of uh, minuscule accessories like. You know, well, I don't know, like, what what else would he have come with? So, pretty cool, guys. Uh, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm digging this guy. You kind of, the movement kind of hurts, but again, you can't expect too much movement out of a guy like, out of a figure like this. So, I think what we do get is really good, and I think you get some cool accessories. I don't know how much he costs overseas. Again, uh, again, I picked this figure up on Amazon.ca. With a gift card my brother got me for my birthday. So again, pretty cool. But I I think he's definitely this I, I would pay fifty dollars for this. I would I would feel comfortable paying fifty dollars for this figure. The size is really good. De details really good. Accessories are cool. And um, he's nice, Clayface. Clayface is a cool villain, right? So I, I would be comfortable paying fifty bucks for this guy. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. That's it for this video. Oh, I, I, I knocked him over. I didn't mean to do that. I, I knocked him over. Now he's not going to stand. I, oh, there we go. So yeah, thank you again, guys, for watching. Please don't forget, subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. I, I always love to hear what you guys got to say. So definitely leave me a comment. Uh... Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put all my I'm gonna put the links to all my social media in the description below. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, hit me up if you wanna send me a message, send me a tweet, feel free if you just wanna message me. If you just wanna say hey, definitely uh I encourage that. Feel free to do that. And yeah, that's uh right now that's it for me guys. Thank you again for watching. I will catch you guys next time with another figure review. Eh.